It's been an exciting 24 hours. On one side, you've had the tremendous deliberations of the Patient Safety Council, of the, patient, uh, the International Patient Safety Conference, and on the other side, you've had individuals working, sharing ideas, debating, and dreaming about how we can revolutionize healthcare with IT. A very, very warm welcome to all of you to this joint plenary session. It is my pleasure and privilege to welcome our Honorable Minister for State, Ms. Anupriya Patel, who has taken up the mantle of taking care of the health care of 1.3 billion people. And I think she is committed, she is enthusiastic, and just her ready response to join us for this conference, because she immediately said, the subject you're talking about is very important. I'll try and find a way to be there. And I know how much her office had to maneuver with her calendar and her commitments. Thank you very much, ma'am. A very warm welcome to you on behalf of the entire team. Sir David Dalton, as one of the longest standing CEOs of the NHS, it has been said multiple times that many people may change at number 10, but Sir Dalton remains the health advisor to the nation, and we are extremely happy to have you in our midst. Your presentation showed the depth of your knowledge, uh, the capability, and what you have to share. We're very, very honored to have you here. Ms. Shobna Kamineni, our Vice Chairperson Apollo Hospitals, and now significantly, India's first Lady President of the CII. Thank you for being with us. <laughs> Professor Ganapati of the Telemedicine Foundation, one of the evangelists of health IT. And most significantly, the source of our inspiration, the reason we do what we do. Dr. Pratap Reddy, our Chairman, welcome, sir. It is my pleasure to welcome 2,000 delegates from across the country and many parts of the globe, to welcome over 250 speakers, of whom 70 of you have traveled from different parts of the world to be here. We have here experts from artificial intelligence to algorithms, experts in patient safety, uh, various organizations, the Joint Commission, the ESCOA, the Canadian Association, multiple uh, corporations, everyone here with a single cause and a single reason. So I welcome you here physically. I welcome you here personally. I welcome your hearts. I welcome your minds. And most important, I welcome your commitment to patient safety and the future dream that all of us have of a healthier country, a healthier world, and a world where our focus on prevention, our usage of the right technologies, our empowerment of the healthcare workers and the healthcare people across the system, each one of these as well as multiple other things which have been debated over the last two days, I welcome this spirit to recognize the need for change and to be a part of that tremendous change, as Gandhiji said. And while I welcome all the participants, I must make a special acknowledgement to the nurses who are here. You play a major role in the healthcare system. 